Pizza. What's up? What's up? What's up? All station clothing about to drop that tea that matches the hoodies. Everyone, what's happening? Happy Friday. It's been a while since I've done one on a Friday. Don't know what's happening. It's going all right, man. It's as good as it gets, you know? The chrome stone. Even the man was happening. Joe. Lethal in the house. Uh, Eddie, my man. My man, Eddie. What's up, Annie? You coming and chilling? Just waiting for Are you going to say something? Oh, she hasn't started Hi. watching yet. She hasn't started watching yet. It should be on Jonah's thing, I think. There. Runs it. There's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. You wave to her. <laughs> And his friends watching, so. What's up, Benny? My man Eddie says hello. Hi. Hi, Eddie. What's happening? Happy Friday, everyone. I've got my man Vince from Vinco on the show tonight. Hi, Annie. There's that. Uh, uh, and I said hi. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Oh, pink titan there. Hello. <gasps> pink titan. Yeah. Pink titan. So we've got Vince from Vinco got from pink, Perth. Got Watch pink, out because that's going to spill. We've got pink titan. Happy Friday, Annie. Oh, it's Jawbreaker. Happy Friday. Hi. Hey, everybody. To you too, everyone. <laughs> Well, they're not saying to you. <laughs> they are. Here he is. Javins is joined. Just watch out. Don't cross my head. I'll get ya. Leroy, my man. Vince, whenever you want to pop in, pop in. Hey, can we FaceTime Hannah? No. <laughs> Just checking ya. So sit down, go on. Don't bend your leg, you hurt your leg. What's up? Hey. What's good, bro? What's happening, man? Can you Hi. hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Uh, awesome. How are you? Awesome. Congratulate. Um, congratulate. Thank you for being on the show. And no, congratulations. Good, man. Yes, Appreciate man. it. Appreciate it. For my viewers and if you want to introduce yourself and uh, what you do for a living. Uh, yeah, I'm Jake Vinco. I'm um, running Vinco clothing brand, Vinco1312 on Instagram. I uh, manage Shadow. Um, newly just started managing, so that's a new chapter of my life. Uh, yeah, you can, f and I upload a bunch of shit onto YouTube, so you can go check that out at uh, Vinco, uh, literally Vinco with a little dash above the O, but if you write Vinco1312 into anything, you'll find me. Oh, all right. On, uh, yeah, on, on, I say that yeah, if I do that on YouTube, I can subscribe. Yeah, we'll, we'll That's how I'll, all right, I'll, I'll give it a subscribe. Cheers, bro. Hundred percent, man. Um, no, so you started managing managing Shadow. Yeah, yeah. So oh, in man. the last uh, two or three months. Ah, oh, beautiful. How's that going? All right. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We did our project together, and we did um, and I also directed this music video with him, Lemonade. So that was sort of like when yep. we first started working yeah. together. I was mad. Yeah. So I've known him yeah. for a year now, and I've been working with him pretty much alongside him anyway but it got to the point now we're like yeah we might as well team up and do it as like a managing thing yeah why not man just have, just have, when you talk to him tell him and bass cadet and uh uh, uh was it dub dub tips dub yeah. tips yeah, tell yeah, him yeah. i said hello and that man I, I like those dudes man they're cool man yeah, we'll do. i'll probably see them to, later tonight so I'll, oh yeah we'll i'll right, tell him i said what's up man 100 percent. now i ask everyone this question it doesn't matter how old they are when you were a kid Let's say grade five, grade six. Was yeah. there a pair of shoes that you seen in the shops that you you asked your parents if you could get, whether you couldn't yeah. get it? Oh, was there a pair? Was there a pair that you always wish you had? Yeah, it, it, if I was like say to go back to when I first got into clothes, which would have been like year four, yeah. I'd say the SB Dunk because I was like hell skating when I was little, you know, like yeah, yeah. Got into everything I got into now. 
But yeah, oh, I'd yeah. say well, the speed bump. Younger, man, as well. Yeah. Now, I think that's yeah. a lot of people like it's sort of like uh, skateboarding, graffiti, um, you know, hip hop sort of like as like general, like, you know, if you generalize it like that, that's most, I don't know, most people I hanged out with sort of did that sort of thing when they got, um, you know, there's like sort of stages in their life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, my older cousin from Sydney, he got me into real hip hop. I went in, in 1988, I was in grade five. And yeah. he got me into Ice T, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then um, Fred just went from there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, you do your own clothing brand, and it's a mad brand, man. Uh, your gear looks gross, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 what? what let's let's start from the start, you know what I mean? Like, um, what made you want to make your own clothes? Um, I'd say like when I was like, uh, oh, to the whole start of making the clothes, I was like, had to. Someone not close to me died and then it made me realize I need to like make sure I'm doing what I want to do with my life. Um, I need to be making sure that how I spend my time is how I want to be spending my time. And then I sort of brainstormed on my life and like I really like drawing, but I don't like, I didn't want to be an artist or nothing. I didn't want to draw for like what's, you know, saying pretty for someone. I want to make what I want to make and if people like it, they like it. And that's how I decided, you know, the t-shirt thing would be the best idea. And then it snowballed from there into like a proper like brand, and yeah, it took its own sort of path. That's mad, that, man. How old? How 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 old were you when you when you got your first shirts printed? Uh, I was only oh, a little bit. No, I was still I was like twenty one, I think. Twenty one. Yeah, because yeah. before that it was like yeah, I was not interested in being a part of like, you know, like thinking I was like you know I'm gonna work just to get by, and then I just want to like do graffiti and like fucking drink and have fun, you know, like. Oh, so you do like, graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Most of my life. Mm hmm So that was like the whole... For, uh, for police purposes, we won't, I won't get you to say what yeah, you nah, yeah, right, yeah. you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? They're all, everyone's watching, man. Everyone's yeah. watching, you know what I mean? It's all right, buddy. Yeah, all right. So um, Vinco, obviously, that's your name, Vince? Our last name was Vinci, so V-I-N-C-I, uh, which is like that... Da Vinci thing, like da, it's Vinci, but you know, Aussie's like Vinci. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, sick. And that, that, that's mad, man. So, did you start that? That's it's all, it's all, you just started that by yourself? Yeah, so like, um, I figured out my last name was um, Vinci or Vinci, and then I looked up it means uh, to conquer, but in Latin, it's got this little dash above it and the o, like with an O, and I was like, yeah, that's why like, I like that, and then sort of went in that direction. And yes. uh, I didn't really have anyone that wanted to do stuff like that around me. I had like people that did like, you know, graffiti and stuff. So when I first started, uh, I made a couple of t-shirts and put on an art show. And this is like the first time my boys decided to get a part of something that's like, you know, you sort of see it. in Perth, a lot of like, you know, if you do graffiti and you do art show, it's pretty whack. Just like, I don't know, people just look at it like that. And like, we sort of like look at it like that for a while. But then I was like, we're just going to throw a party, you know. Yeah, and it was like good, and that's how like sort of the first idea like oh I can actually put something together. We got like um the first one we got like 150 people through the door, and it was like it was actually killer. Like it was mate like, at night for the first time of doing something, and that sort of boosted my confidence. Then from there it's like all right now, the clothing can be more. You know before then I only had like three t-shirts out. Yeah, yeah. So was that like the was that party like a launch for like this is a well, launch it was a brand or um. Like, I basically acted as if I was the presenter of these artists. Even though it was just me and my mates, um, I just made it like that. So there was no actual Vinco clothing for sale. You couldn't buy it. You could only see it by people wearing it there. And, like, if you knew, you knew. But there was a big thing at the front saying, like, presented by Vinco. So you sort of... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But then Mate. from there, I, I got into, like, doing more. I uh, did another art show pretty much. But it ended up turning to pretty much like a party. And then I'd start doing pop-ups and that's where, you know, that's sort of that more. And then it just progressed from there, did it? Yeah, well, the pop-up thing is like, you know, that's fucking fun, man. Like, that's where you see, like, people come out that actually want to buy your stuff or whatever and you get to meet the people online. Uh, that's probably the most fun, i say, pop-ups. And then doing the shows with the boys. Yeah. Selling Sick, clothes man. there. But most yeah. of the time, I try to keep my clothes to be sold only at my things. I don't want to, like, um, sell it, like, as if it's merch, you know? Like, it's kind of hard to sell, like, a 50 to $60 T-shirt at a show when most people, you know, they want to buy, like, a $40 T for merch and it's from their artist, whatever. I don't really want to be 
make it definitely Vinco's in its own thing and you've got to go to these places to get it? That's your own lane. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's your own lane. It's not like hip hop merch or nothing like that. It's, it's your own brand, straight brand. Yeah, and it's a good brand, man. I, I love the design. Do you, do you design everything yourself? Yeah, so pretty much I would say three things I've, uh, or three or four things I've outsourced. Um, but before that, the first, well, like, actually, the first four t shirts, right? I live with the guy that taught me about graffiti and stuff when I was like in like year four. Okay. No, I was in year five. And I ended up living with him when I was older. And then he knew he was a graphic designer as well. So he's doing all the graphic design stuff. And I would be like, fuck, man, like, can you do this for me? Can you do this? And then I was like over his shoulder watching him do it. And then I realized I could use Illustrator because it's not that hard, you know, like it's, it's yeah. almost like a, a computer game, whatever. When you look into it, you can fucking find everything on YouTube. Um, and then I learned I could do all my own designs and then um, got the iPad, which I don't really use that a whole lot because I kind of like lettering. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like the T-shirts with like actual designs on them, like stuff that I drew, unless it's like very relatable, people don't understand it a lot. It kind of gets misinterpreted, um, like not misinterpreted, but people don't click to what it actually means or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like weirdly, like the fucking, um, like this, um, like that. That's yeah. like the biggest seller. And it's the, like, that took me a second to make. And I didn't really think much about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, that, that, my, my majority of photos that I've seen of people wearing your tops, it's that, that one. That, yeah. That's actually the one I was going to send a screenshot of yeah. for the spot, for the shirt spot. Yeah. You know? yeah. Because I like that simple. I, I like the block letters. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's just sort nice. of looks like a, like a college jumper yeah. sort of writing or university. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it's sick. What, what was? Do you have the first T-shirt you ever printed? Not the one that you uh, not not printed, but like the first design. Was that the first design? Nah, I um, I actually can grab it. Uh, yeah, it was like basic, yeah. I'll take I'll take five seconds. No worries, no worries. But I'm wanting to show. I got, I got, I got stuff to show. I think I've got stuff to show on the snake there. I've got a few things there. You know what I mean? But we'll wait till later. <clears throat> we'll just wait. It's Friday. It's happening. You know. <clears throat> yeah, so the first thing I designed was this. That's sick. Like, That's like mad. Yeah, so I drew that myself and then I like got someone to like sort of vector it and make it sharper and stuff. And then I just, yeah, got that on this. And there was like no, it was like that little Vinco thing on the top. Thick. But there was like nothing to it. And then with that, I literally drove around my area, like hitting people up I knew like from like high school, wherever. I was just hitting people up. So I made this t shirt. What do you reckon? And like, I, you know, people would just be like, yeah. All right. And I'm like, oh, right, cool. You're saying, yeah. I'll come drive to you and I'll give you the t-shirt like whenever you want. And I'll do it like for like, I think I spent two weeks driving it around and just delivering these t-shirts to people that wanted them. And then I sort of got rid of them in like two weeks and I only, I only made 30 of them, but still that's how I sort of started. And that also gave me confidence to keep on going. Yeah. No, it's good. That's a sick design. I, I really like that one, man. No, cheers. That, yeah. yeah. All right. So let's get back to the sneakers. Let's get back mm -hmm. to the sneakers. I've seen you in a few photos there. Everyone, your whole crew, all the boys, they they love the shoes too, man. Yeah. At the moment, what are you feeling right now on your feet? What do you what do you what, what's your go to well, on your feet? I'd say lately has been the Air Force, and I've never like been an Air Force guy. Like I remember when I was younger, I literally stole a pair of someone's fucking front of their house when I was little, and I thought, I used to oh, that here, yeah, yeah, and they were <laughs> they were like way too big for me, you know, like those some adult shoes. But yeah, that's what I've started wearing now, and actually a comfortable shoe. And they look good with a lot of stuff, you know. You don't really have to try too much. They, they do. They, they suit a lot of things, you know. I, I never, when I was younger, I never really wore. I never wore them. I always respected the shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it wasn't until not that long ago that I that I started wearing uh, Air Force Ones, you know. And then Fraxa yeah. got me a pair that is uh, a, a sort of hard to get. It was like a 25th anniversary, and uh, it's just like the. The first six, I think they were called. It was the first six NBA players that actually wore the shoe. Yeah. So they made the shoes, yeah. And I got the Bahama Boy one. And um, do you have any? Did you did you get any sneakers ready to show people? Yeah, I got um, 
I just got like a, I went actually past my mum's and got like a few of the ones I used to wear when I was younger just to like show yeah, sick, sort of my progression. Perfect. Yeah, so awesome. um, um, I say my main shoe I used to wear. These are a bit thrashed out, but these would be the main shoe I used to wear when I was younger. Oh, would be the course, 90. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I always already like really black shoes um, just because like they didn't get dirty as easy and I sort of thrashed my shoes. Easier to take care of, especially when you're younger. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You didn't have like for it. Um, these ones, I never see anyone wearing these anymore, and these are pretty thrashed out as well. But the Air Max LTD, no yeah, one wears these anymore. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. It's it's a weird because it's a it's a really nice shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like I don't even. I've never seen these online anymore. Like, I don't really. Know, even if, I don't see them. I see people wear it like if you they actually got it, but I don't like look at a, any store that's trying to redo these or anything like. I, I like, yeah, get through. Like they're You're pushing right. out all these other shoes again, but those, yeah, yeah those well, it's just mostly TNs things. now. You know what I mean? They're, yeah, they're the pumped. TNs and then all mostly the like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. tailwinds and shit. Mm. Um, these I, I quite like. I got into a stage I like it's, the look of these, but I never really wore them. So they're MX, uh, ones, but like yeah, I never really wore these. I was just sort of like I like the shape of them and stuff. And then I put them on, and because I was always like young, I had a massive foot, and I just didn't like the look of them on my feet. Eh? But yeah, oh, these were well, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A suede shoe, and then these I bought, and I never wore them because they um didn't fit me. But these are like probably the coolest shoe I bought when I was younger. Stabs. They're mad. They're yeah. sick. And I don't, you know, you won't see these like these. I see my mate had these, like my mate's older brother had these, and I was like, fuck, I'm getting a pair. Bought the only pair I've seen on eBay, and it's, like, too small for me, so I just keep uh, it. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I sort of I wear these uh, ultra, uh, the, um, all, oh, hold on, I'll quickly grab them. Yeah, go hard, man, yeah. That's all good, man. Everyone, Everyone's sweet. Everyone's waiting, you know what I mean? What's happening? What's that, a bad man? Yes. Danny Vill, what's that? It's Villatuti, Rose Cigarette, join all stations in the house still. Can anyway, I'm talking a bit soft, sorry. Um, yeah, the 97s. All right, no, they're 95s. 95, sorry, yeah, yeah, no, the 97s are the flat sole. Yeah, yeah, they're tough. I like that colorway, that's mad. Yeah. Seen them at this shop uh, called West Brothers in Perth, and they do delivery and shit. Um, is, that, is that the main store in Perth? Is that uh, I, I've never uh, been there before? Is that like, what, what are the nah, main stores? Like? I'd say the main stores: Foot Locker and JD Sport. JD Sport's obviously hell new to Perth, and like they're just taking over everything uh, yeah, with their yeah. promotion. Um, but yeah, I'd say them. Like those ones are sort of niche, and that's like in Joondalup, so that's a bit like that's the other side of Perth for me. But it comes in a day for me, so. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, uh, I used to, I would say, yeah, like Foot Locker would be my main shoe source where I was like younger. That or um, online. I used to go to shop at East Bay. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you remember East Bay? Or oh, I think it's a East store, Bay. I, East never, Bay. I never had. It. I never, I never bought shoes online ever in my life, man. Uh, until yeah. like I started getting the internet, and and until I got the um, the key card with the chip in it. Yeah, where you could. Where that's how you, before that I couldn't do that. I had a bank book until I was in my thirties, bro. Even when, oh, really? but yeah, just before <laughs> my daughter was born, like I, I had a bank book. I'm old school, man. Like I was, I was old school. I would always have yeah. a bank book. You know what I mean? And um, then got a key card, and then uh, I don't know how old Annie was. My partner got one first with the chip, and then she started getting stuff online, and then. Uh, the first thing I bought online was uh, uh, an album on yeah. my phone. I was like, oh, I can buy an album off I Yeah, yeah. I, I think, yeah. What was it? It was Compton, Compton's Most Wanted. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it was... Compton's um, Most Wanted? Yeah, is yeah. That, is that a group? MTA. That's it. It's MTA. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, I can't remember the album name. I have no idea. I've never actually heard of them, to be honest. Haven't you? Check them out, no. man. That's like... They're from old school, man, like 90s and South Central. They're obviously from Compton, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's MCA. Have you heard of MCA before? No. 
I can't no, remember the sure. dude's name man, and the DJ and that. But yeah, if you if 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 if, if you uh, for years him and DJ Quick had beef. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they, obviously they're, they're fine now. They're old, old dudes now, but they're still making music, you know what I mean? He yeah. is anyway, you know what I mean? He just did a song with um with Conway. You know Conway the Machine? No. No. You have to show oh, me this through. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. I'll, I'll send you a through. 100%, yeah. man. 100%. So that's so yeah. you just bought. So what was the main shopping center near your joint? Was was that just was uh, it or Garden, did it? Well, Garden City, where I like that's the shopping center I used to go and hang out at. Um, that was uh, the main shopping center. They had a Foot Locker in there, and a Maya and a David Jones at either end of it. So that yeah. was sort of where I went, you know, to get clothes and fucking shoes. And it was well, like we used to drink there and hang out there and whatever. Else yeah, yeah, there. yeah. The spot, it was the spot, like one of yeah. the spots. Yeah. yeah. What was your first um, uh, when you first started like you know noticing clothing and stuff like that, like street clothes or whatever, you know? What was your first brand? What was your go-to brand that you that you first started rocking? Um, I would or like, uh, I'd say if we were to like class like skateboarding clothes and streetwear, I'd say like um, yeah, that brand, uh, girl. Yeah, girl girl was like, yeah, that's a sick yeah. brand, man. I used to have like that. That was like they had cool graphics and shit. I used to skate all their boards and stuff when I was young. Yeah. young. Uh, there's a brand in um, from Perth, or it's a skate brand, GMTA. Great minds think alike. That's their yeah. like, meaning of it. But yeah, GMTA, shout out to those guys. They were like the first people that I would like support in the thing of like, I love their clothes, you know, even though they was like pretty similar to like that T-shirt, just the block letter, like, hoodies and shit but i just like yeah fucked with their clothes and that i would say that would be the first brand from perth that i really fucked with and i uh, really put my sort of buy their shit you know when it comes out all the time yeah yeah and did that give you when you see them doing their thing did that give you was that also a helping to get you pumped up a little bit well, for, like to do your shirts or was that way before you got the idea to do your own clothes that's what yeah that was way before um I only got the idea when I like thought I had to decide to like uh uh yeah, make my job like what I wanted to do. So yeah, until yeah. I had that idea around twenty twenty one where I started researching online and figuring out what you can and can't do and like how possible it is to do your own business. Like, you know, you only need like uh a thousand people to support you and you're fucking pretty well off. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah exactly, man. That's fucking it's mad. Because I started, that's when I contacted you, I uh, already thought I followed you because every time I seen, like I was telling you, I, saw, I always see base shadow wearing it. Everyone was wearing it and I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's why I just automatically, and then I seen you and yeah. I thought, I put two and two together and then I just thought, I seen you in the photos with him and I thought, oh yeah, fuck, I already follow him. And then when I went to contact you, I was like, fuck, I can't find you, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. I had to start following him. I just thought, just because I've seen you with him and that, I just thought automatic. It's like, oh, yeah, fucking no. I already yeah. follow him. I mean, yeah, yeah. Nah, for how sure, did you, man. How did you meet them guys over in Melbourne? Yeah, uh, yes. At, at, a, um, at the Fully Gas, the 50-50. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I did one round with Shadow. Um, but they were cool, man. Basically, that, man, oh, they showed me mad love. Yeah, good and guys. they're very respectful, you know what I mean? Like, so it was like, um, when I met a man, I was just like, and basically, they, he, he done me a mad favor. Like, I remember when him and Shadow opened up a, a, a JD sports store in Perth, they were advertising it on, on, on Instagram. Yeah. And I, I, I messaged him and I said, man, I go in between, because he's been on the show, basically, yeah. been on the show. And I, I messaged him and I said, man, I go in between one of the songs. I go, just, I go, if you remember, if you don't, don't, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know, I go, just mention my show, right? Yeah. And the, the Instagram, you know? And he goes, yeah, yeah, he goes, 100%, I'll do it. But he didn't do that. He waited till after and walked up to the dude that hired him for that, that got everything. And he showed him my show and he told him about it. And then he like went out of his way to, to try and get me hooked up. Yeah. with him you know what i mean and i'll never forget that you know what i mean yeah. i always i love him for that because i didn't ask yeah, him to do that. he just he just did it on himself and he goes he goes i'll oh, do it like a business plan like this and he gave me the emails obviously they nothing happened of it you know what i mean but like just 
do a bit more of a step than like a shout out. To do that, like, uh, yeah, I've only met him a few times, and you know what I mean. He shows me mad love, so does Shadow. You know what I'm saying. And every time yeah. they do something, I like to, I like to message all the young artists and I congratulate them. You know what I'm saying. That's just like uh, me being an older dude. I, I think it's, it's good to do that. You know what I mean. Like, yeah. and, I, and I do it. You know what I mean. Yeah, I, I love those dudes, man. They're, they're mad. Yeah, the younger generation, like, feel like um. A lot of them feel not like not based in shadow, but like I feel like quite a few feel like they're not as accepted from the older crowd and that. But I don't think it's like that. Um, I think it's just the fact, like you're saying, like it's the effort of actually contacting each other or having the conversation. In it, yeah, like, I, I think some people might be don't like it or whatever. You know what I mean? I can't see the reason why. Whatever you know, like to me, it doesn't make a difference. I, I, I like it because it's young dudes. Nowadays, you've got more of a chance. You've got this stuff, Instagram and everything. You've got more of a chance, you know what I'm saying, to, to do something yeah. with it. And they're not wasting their chance with yeah, bullshit. That's you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. You know what I mean? That's why I love it. I always text them. I'll, I'll say, oh, fuck, you know, congratulations on that. Because I, lo I like seeing young people not throw away their talents on rubbish. Especially yeah. now they're getting money. You know what I mean? They're getting, you know, they're getting, getting mad. Exposure, all this stuff, and it's just like they're not falling into that. Oh, you know, I'm in street bullshit. Man, if you don't have to do it, don't do it. Yeah, and they, they're it. not doing it. You know what I mean? Like they're living. You know what I mean? They used to see in their photos, they're always smiling, this and that. Like you know what I'm saying? You don't see no, you know, fuck the world posts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, that's why yeah. I, 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 I'll always support young artists if I know them. You know what I mean? Like like I'm not saying I don't like the ones that I don't know, but like. I don't really. Yeah, I'm 41, man. I don't. I, I, I don't really go out searching for new music or nothing like that. I'm set in my ways, like OCD. Like, all right, this is, this yeah. is what I like. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't have a problem with that. But I get what you mean too. You know what I'm saying? And like, and I guess some of them. It's more in America, I guess. They that happens more. I see. You know what I mean? Like a lot of younger rappers or whatever. They'll this older rappers or the ones that's pioneers and stuff and broke or whatever. But then at the end of the day, it's like without them, they wouldn't be eaten. No, it's now. And a lot you know of that I'm... is just the reach, you know, like a lot of that's a reach. If you, you listen to the 50 cent book or read it, like whatever you want, I listen to it. But um, he talks about if you can't get to someone, the right, like man. if you can't get someone's attention, nothing like that, you can say something about them or whatever and get them to turn around and look at you or react to you. That's the yeah. now you are on the same level or like at least close, you know. Like that's what it's all about. A lot of that shit in America is a promotional thing, you know. Like, yeah, man. It's yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like I tell people, man, it's like when people ah oh, young dudes this, young dudes that. It's like you know what, man. The way I look at it is like you don't have to like old school rap from here or, or anywhere. You know what I mean? But at least have some respect for it because without it you wouldn't be doing it. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's the way I feel, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm not going to diss, go, oh, fuck these young guys, they're fucking making me, you know what I mean? I'm not like that, bro. I, yeah. I, I'm the opposite. I'm rapped for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm rapped for anyone that succeeds. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're not fucking around. You're not letting them fucking take you down. And if anyone that's with you isn't riding with you, fucking see you later. That's the way I look. You know what I mean? Like, don't let that, that shit... Fuck your fucking life. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's the way that's I think. Yeah. That's a good way to like, yeah. that's a good message um, for like younger people that want to do music and that. They don't yeah. need to be like, yeah. And the same thing is like, I feel uh, when you when I was younger, because I'm 26 this year, um, but like I found so much old music because like I didn't really like fully fuck with like Little Wayne and shit when they were like sort of like, you know, 2000 and like, 12 whatever i didn't really listen to that and then earlier than that say like 2005 onwards was like all me going back in time through youtube and through old skate videos that's how i sort of like researched hip-hop and found yeah. a lot of shit that you wouldn't find just in front of you online no that's why no, i feel like i yeah. understand like a lot of the old style american rap the old style australian rap and i went through a lot of like following that new wave of American rap that just came up through like the SoundCloud wave sort of thing. And I followed that through the whole thing at the beginning from like 2016 right, onwards. Yeah. And then I'd say around 2018, 
17 in Australia, the new wave sort of just started like pushing to the forefront and it become like, I feel like it's become more, I don't know, just like I feel like people are more accepting of our music now. It's more universal sounding. Yeah, yeah, you know. And I look at, like, like yeah, it's good, man. And the, like even overseas people more like it when you use your own, like I'm all about using my own slang words and stuff yeah. like that. I won't, I won't. You know, like when Fraxa told me, oh, you should start doing grime and stuff like that. And I said, oh, to him and Scotty, I go, yeah, oh, I got, I want to have rules, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use, I didn't grow up saying teens and this and that. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I can't, I'm 40, I'm not, like I wasn't 40 then, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I and like here we said thing with an F, you know what I mean? It was like this yeah, and yeah. that, but whatever, you know, and that's what I like. And even Fraxa will say, look, I've, I, People from around the world, it's like they want to hear your slang. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's that. That's what I like to hear from people, young, old, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, it's good. I, I like that, man. I like that. And Shadow's music is quite powerful. I, I love his flow. He gets in there. You know what I mean? You can tell. You can tell a person that is doing it because they love it, and then you can yeah. tell a person that's doing it because they've got some skill, but they just want to do it to get money or whatever, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. Money, without money, you're going to fucking die. You know what I mean? Everyone needs to eat. You know what I mean? But like, that's just like, I like like those MCs. They're yeah. good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's like more of an MC, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, you got any uh, more sneakers here? Um, what about, uh, yeah. I'd say, uh, um, these are like my favorite. Sorry, we got sidetracked there for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, sick. Prestos. I bought these four times over. Yeah, did ya? Yeah, because I like get them and then I'm like, I'm not going to wear them. And then I start wearing them when I'm drunk and then I like fuck the front of it a little bit. Ah, uh, of course. The drunken, yeah. Um, it's always when you wake up in the morning and you're shattered, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. <laughs> you're a fucking hell. Oh, my man from All Stations Clothing, that's a new one that's come out, All Stations, Melbourne brand. Um, Any new releases coming out soon? Um. Yeah, so... Well, I've got this T-shirt coming out soon, which is like of a cop car that actually got burnt at the front of the police station on um, yeah, 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 Korea, because the highway to hell thing. Um, someone just was got too fucked up. Um, I've got a collab coming with Go To, who's a Perth writer. Um, you probably know who he is. This is like just a little preview of actually what he just drew. That looks good. That's sick. Yeah. So that's his G. He's a pretty famous. Um, He's painted all around the world. My man uh, Eddie wants to know what T-shirt you're wearing now. What's that shirt oh. you got on there? So this is a collab with um with uh No One Network. So the No One Thirteen Twelve with um it's inspired by like uh Russian um crime tattoos. So that's yeah. just like uh yeah, yeah. out of a book. And then on the back is um this uh owl. That means like you're a safe cracker or you're a thief. Yeah, yes. And then that word there, I can't even say it, but that means sentence to hard labour. So Sick. that sort of a whole, like, yeah, that's just, uh, we did this last year, uh, literally a week ago from today, last year, um, in Brisbane, we did a pop-up with Noah Network. Uh, so is that, that's Nerves crew, nerves, yeah? Yeah, so Kyle Golly, who pretty much runs Noah Network, he, me and him linked up because we almost like uh, the same thing on different different sides of uh, Australia. Yeah. Um, and then like yeah, I found out that uh, he's actually related to like someone that's been like my fa my like family friend or some shit when I was younger. So we're actually like full linked that way. But um, yeah, me and him. Uh, yeah, I like didn't realize until uh, we we're hanging out over in Brizzy. But um, yeah, me and him did that pop up. Did uh. This T-shirt, we did a spy versus spy tee because it's like taking the piss of like, we're pretty similar, you know? Just yeah, like yeah, colors. yeah. Um, and, yeah, so that's... I've yeah, seen that's that one, cool. spy versus spy, yeah. I used to love yeah. those when I, from the Mad Magazines and that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I always used to try like paint them as characters and try to get someone to do the black piece with a white outline and I do the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thick. Uh, no, um, man. What else? We've got a show coming up in Perth. That uh, we're putting on me and bass. Um, Shadow's going to perform. This guy Jadon, who's uh, he's from my area, six three. Um, uh, we're going to have this guy Zane Rose, who's just dropped a song today. 
um, he's going to be on the show. So we're doing that around the 7th of November. Well, and so is that people do. allowed to go to it or? Yeah, because Perth's pretty much like full back to normal way. Like besides 50% oh. capacity. So yeah, we're Man. like pretty, like even the footy, I think they have like 30,000 people there, which is fucking, I don't understand how they're allowed to do that. Then they're not allowed to have like a thousand people in a venue. Because it's footy. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's more money there. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeah. footy, man. Everyone, you know, it's like that's why it's crazy, someone, man. They like no one gives a fuck about in Brisbane. Shit. You know, they're all chilling at a fucking resort in Brisbane, and we're all fucking. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like yeah. that's crazy, yeah. man. Fucking that's hectic. So what are you doing tonight? You hooking up with the boys? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, base messaged me earlier. I'll see what he's doing. He might be actually playing at the radio station. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hustle, hustle and grind. He's just like doing sets there, which is um, yeah, it's just a cool joint. They like now they're doing that. They're doing a bit of YouTube videos and that, so that's like good for the scene in Perth. Um, I don't know what Shadow's doing yet, but yeah, uh, he's meant to hit me up and come around. Uh, we're gonna do some because uh, we finally got his uh, Russell Coy T-shirts. There might be a few more of them come back online soon because we got a bit extra. Yeah, yeah that was alright. We, we love watching that show, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that he did that. When I seen that, I was like, "Oh my god, bullshit!" That's that's that's, that's wild, some, like man. that's using the Aussie, you know, Aussie in the fucking in the raps and that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like I that, love eh? that. I was like, "Oh, I was raps when when I seen that." You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was sick, man, for sure. But um, Vince, man, thank you very much for coming no, on. No worries. Thanks Have a lot. Good night. Say hi to the boys and we'll uh, uh, peace and blessings, man, and all the best in in the future. And I'll uh, I'll be in touch once I order. Yeah. things on Monday, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, easy. Sounds good. Don't worry. Beautiful, right, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks for having me. No. Shout out to everyone that watched this. Love you guys. Peace. 100%. Later, brother. All right. That was mad. That was sick. You know what I'm saying? Young man. Not not wasting his life, you know what I'm saying? Like young people, you know, I, I like that man, you know what I'm saying? That's the best. Now, what are we gonna pop out? I don't know. We're gonna pop a few things out, I guess. I'll pop something now. Hold on. I read these. What's that cup? What's that? Oh, uh, passengers. They didn't have the cups at the movies when we went to watch a kid's film. I can't remember what film it was. And the lady said, do you mind if we have those cups? And then we were like, nah. And then once it was on TV and we started watching that. So I've had these for ages. I call these rollovers. Uh Thanks, Eddie. These rollers, new new buck, man. This is sick. I read them for ages. I paid thirty bucks for these. The top. You know what I'm saying? Click cuts in the house. What's up? One more. One more. Clean. Thank you. Uh, let's take it back. Let's take it back. You know what I'm saying? Let's take it back there. I was going to go like this. So, Jan.
All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Snap bags and loving the butt hat. I got this off Fracture ages ago. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, everyone, this is going to be on IGTV anyway and on YouTube. But um, what's up, Frankie? Uh, Eddie, what's up? Peace out, everyone. And uh, have a good night. Have a mad one.